Hey kids, do you remember that video I posted last year called TikTok Live is Extremely Problematic where I kind of went into depth about how grown men were live streaming from prison on TikTok, inviting kids into their live streams and like complaining about their marital problems to 14 year old girls and stuff? Well, fun fact, that video originally was intended to be a comedic commentary piece where I was just gonna like talk about how all TikTok lives are really weird. We don't got no crazy games on the by you. <laughs> but of course my attention was diverted by what I saw and I felt like that was more important to talk about at the time. I remember also feeling uncomfortable and weird screen recording people who were live <laughs> just because I don't know nobody else was talking about TikTok live at the time so I was like going above and beyond to try to get permission from people to like post a clip of their live video. It was a whole thing but now it seems like the culture has majorly shifted and I've also noticed a lot of people saying that they hope to make it into YouTube videos because all publicity is good publicity, you know? Well, welcome to the live stream. Please don't screen record. <gasps> Oops. Not that guy, I guess. So the newest trend on already weird TikTok live is... <laughs> so freaking weird. Let's check out an article here that says words better than I do. TikTokers are being paid to act like robots in NPC stream trend. So if you don't know what an NPC is, uh, no worries. I didn't either until someone explained it to me and then I was like, oh yeah, I know what that is. So NPC stands for non-player character and it is in reference to like the people in backgrounds of video games that are not players. They're just, they're like extras, you know, kind of like an extra in a movie. And a lot of times they like, do weird movements and stuff, or they'll say things, or they make really weird noises. Like my first thought was um, when I would hear Nick playing Zelda in the other room, I would always hear the NPCs be like, ah. <laughs> and I would mock them and stuff. So whether you're a gamer or a wife who mocks husband's games, you've probably seen an NPC before. So this trend is where people go live on TikTok acting like an NPC. So what does that look like? You may ask, how could somebody act like a video game character, you're probably wondering. And you know, instead of trying to explain it myself, I'll just show you. Musica? Word on the car. The earth, I'll take over. The earth, I'll take over. Mmm, ice cream's so good. Gang gang. Thank you for the chilies. Thank you for the chilies. Crunchy corn, yum. Kitty paws. Pumpkin, yum. Hi, lightning. <laughs> Weird, huh? <laughs> so even weirder than the trend itself is the fact that thousands of people sit and watch it and give them money, just <laughs> donate in the form of the little TikTok gifts. If you don't know this, you can send creators money on TikTok in the form of little, um, they're, they're like emojis. It's like corn, sunglasses, mustache, hearts and each one of them has some sort of monetary value that creators can then basically cash in for actual money that goes into their bank account so the person on tiktok who seems to be getting the most attention is this young lady here named pinky doll i checked out her profile having no idea if she was going to be alive or not i was more or less just going to check out her content and to my chagrin <laughs> she happened to be alive at the time when i clicked on it and started screen recording which she has said she likes by the way she likes the attention she had 33.6 people 33.6 people watching her stream now i don't know the breakdown of how much each little emoji gift is worth but if even a portion of those people watching were sending them i'm sure it adds up to a heck load yes we say heck on this channel you get me feeling like a queen mm -hmm. oh yes popcorn yes popcorn yes popcorn oh yeah by the way one of the things that she does quite often is if someone sends her a popcorn gift she says yes popcorn yes popcorn yes popcorn yes quite enthusiastic about the popcorn which begs the question how much is the popcorn emoji worth you know because she's not the only person doing this who is also excited about the popcorn specifically Crunchy corn yum perhaps we can google it how much is popcorn worth on tiktok how much do popcorn costs <laughs> okay i can't really find the answer but one of the first articles that popped up here is who's the tiktok creator making popcorn with her hair straightener <laughs> what <laughs> hold up i don't even think i noticed that yeah. Amazing. I definitely saw the hair straightener and I noticed that her and many of the other NPC streamers that I saw were holding a flat iron, but I didn't realize there was a popcorn kernel inside of it. I mean, it's fun, but it might take you a while to fill up a whole bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, hold on. We need to go a step further and see why uh, they all have popcorn in their flat irons. <laughs> what? 
Why do NPC live streamers on TikTok have flat irons? Not something I thought I would ever Google in my lifetime. Okay, I found one sentence that says, some have also incorporated interesting interactions to the stream, such as popping popcorn with a hair straightener. But why? Hold up. We gotta take a break. We'll be right back. Hey kids, we're back. So although this trend is quite cringe and mind numbing and the content is not good or creative at all, <laughs> some people who participate in it are weirdly good at it. Like this girl has the movements down so good. I feel like I'm watching an actual NPC. Stop it. Get some help. Which makes sense because according to the internet, according to Know Your Meme, she is the one who started this entire trend. Way to go, Natu Coco. You started this and now we can't scroll through TikTok Live without seeing stuff like this. So Natu Coco, I don't know how to say her name, sorry. Turns out she was originally doing this on Twitch. And she jumped ship from Twitch and started doing it on TikTok, most likely, I'm assuming, because she got more engagement or more gifts or something, more popcorn. So we have the originator, we have the pinky doll lady, uh, we have a whole bunch of randos doing it. Why are you doing this? What is happening right now? But what some of you may not know is that this trend has also been picked up by none other than Trisha Paytas. Good. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. This is this is very on brand for Trisha. I'm not surprised at all that she did it. It kind of reminds me of uh, the infamous pickle video. You know the one I'm talking about. I just love people who are absolute characters and make stuff like this to put on the internet because it just gives us, the viewer, so much material, so much to work with, you know? I gotta be honest, guys, this trend, like many others I see on TikTok, feels a little bit... Fetishy. Which, whatever, but it makes me feel weird, right? Because this app is primarily used by children. And now I've actually seen kids getting on here and like doing this trend, mimicking it. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I mean drugs. What? No! Ice cream. <laughs> I don't really want to delve into that this time around, but you know, if you're a parent, just maybe double check, double check what the kids are watching on TikTok. <laughs> it might get weird over there. Okay, so if it's not really geared towards kids, even though kids are seeing it, and if most adults think it's stupid, you may be asking yourself, who is this for, right? Who's watching this? Well, a lot of people watch out of sheer curiosity because it got so popular so fast, many people are tuning in just to see, you know, what all the fuss is about. There are also some people who hate watch this girl. But super interestingly and hilariously, there are also other people who tune in specifically because they want to catch the NPC live streamers breaking character. They've kind of made a game out of it, it would seem. So the hope is they tune into the live stream, catch one of the streamers breaking character, re-upload it to their own TikTok and get a bunch of views from it. <laughs> There's a couple screen recordings of Pinky Doll breaking character. One of the times was because she got a donation or a gift from actual Timbaland. <gasps> Oh, Timbaland! Oh, Timbaland in the building! Oh. You know, as in the famous producer, he's a big fan, okay. She also broke character to yell at her son to tell him to go to bed. Go to your room, go, let's go. Let's go, if you if you make me come, you're gonna go and finish the huh? so stop up in the cell. I don't know why it's so funny when they break character. I just picture, I guess, being a kid, like coming out of your room in the middle of the night, seeing your mom doing this. Yes, popcorn, yes, popcorn, yes, popcorn. Mommy. Mommy, I don't feel very- Go to bed, Chrysanthemum! And Pinky Doll is actually not the only NPC streamer who has broken character during her live streams. I saw a few of them, like this guy who got a knock at the door during his live stream. Hold up. Who is this? Who is this? Yeah? Um, we have a city inspection next week, so we're doing pre-inspection. <laughs> 
Can you imagine? Yes, popcorn. Yes, popcorn. So, sorry, I'm busy. I, I can't come to the door. I'm being an NPC on TikTok. What's that? It sounds stupid. <laughs> so friends, you know me, okay? I'm not one to normally get worked up over things other people do on the internet, and I'm not. Okay, I'm not worked up. But there are a few things I don't like, okay? First of all, the problem is really with TikTok, not the NPC people. I don't like how TikTok doesn't just let me hate watch stuff. When it comes to live streams, it always has to tell people I'm there, you know, announce my presence. Jamie, thanks for joining. Like, no, 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 TikTok, I wanna lurk. I wanna be a lurker, okay? I don't need this fairy to know I'm there because then what's gonna happen, I know what's gonna happen is she's gonna expect money and gifts from me. Hi, Jamie. I also don't like that this has become 100% of the live feed. TikTok doesn't seem to know how to break it up and show people doing a variety of stuff. Daniel, thank you. Daniel, thank you. Daniel. Thank you. Like, why does every single TikTok trend have to be so overdone and so overly saturated and so unoriginal? And often sometimes dangerous. I literally just read an article like a week ago that four people died because of jumping off a speeding boat again because of a TikTok trend. <sighs> why are we the way that we are, kids? Thankfully though, we don't have to be too upset about this one. <laughs> There's no need to be upset about this one. Nobody's getting hurt, it would seem. And if it does bother you, fear not, because there are a lot of creators who have spoken up saying that this is stupid and silly, made fun of it. There's even people like mocking it in their actual TikTok videos. Chopped cheese, om nom nom. Chopped cheese, om nom nom. Hi, Layla. Hi, Emily. Ooh, ice cream. Ooh, ah. I'm a NPC. I'm a NPC. I'm about a. Y'all are out here looking stupid. I like seeing stuff like this, you know, because it reminds us all that we're not alone in our cynicism. Now guys, although I appear to be heavily criticizing this and making fun of it, I don't wanna give the wrong impression. I certainly don't wanna give the impression that I'm angry at women for making money online like this Vice article worded it. It's mesmerizing and like almost everything involving female content creators making money from capturing people's attention online, it's made a lot of people mad. No, Vice, nobody's mad. Who's mad? Besides maybe that one guy. <laughs> we just think it's odd, you know, that we now live in a world where a four hour stint as an NPC gets you paid on par with doctors, lawyers, professors of things i guess it negates the need for college right why do why go to college <laughs> why go to college to be a boring old banker when you can just invest a few hours a day being a slave to anonymous tippers <laughs> i also saw a TikTok of the one and only tana monjo weighing in on this topic i will never never hate on a bitch in her bag so if you see me on live later today going gang 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 Ice cream, so good. Mind your f business. A few months ago, I accidentally stepped on Tana Monjo's dress coming out of the bathroom at the Streamy Awards and she didn't know, but I knew she'll never know. But I panicked. Hey kids, we're back. So back to what I was saying. No, I am not mad at anybody who's making money off this trend. I'm actually glad this trend exists because I got content out of it. And the trend is cringe enough and like, mild enough to where I knew I could make a good funny video about it. So thank you, NPC streamers. Have some popcorn. Now friends, oftentimes when I explore slash make fun of trends like this, I also like to try them out in the video. I guess you could say I have a sort of definitely knock it before you try it type of mentality. <laughs> but you know guys, I gotta be honest, I don't wanna do this one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm the worst, okay? I'm the worst. It's just, I can I can only embarrass myself so much. I mean, you've seen me do embarrassing stuff, but I do have a line. And actually going live on TikTok and doing this for potentially thousands of people who wouldn't know that I was joking, there's no way I could do it. Also, because there are a lot of people who feel like this is fetishy. I just can't, okay? Not my thing. I don't want you to be disappointed though. You're not missing out on much. I wouldn't do a good job. I don't know how to act like a video game character. There's people on YouTube long before this was a trend on TikTok. I've seen people acting like NPCs on YouTube and they are actually so good. They look like video game characters. <laughs> I could not do that. If I tried to act out the way I personally play video games, it would be like... <laughs> 
So friends, do you want to know my final thoughts? No. My final thoughts here are, though I may find it odd, I actually don't care whatsoever how people make money on the internet. I have seen TikTok trends that are far worse than this one. It doesn't appear like it could hurt my nephews. And this one isn't really that different than being a paid actor, I guess, like getting paid to pretend to be somebody or not. I don't know. So my beef is not actually with these streamers in particular, but rather with TikTok. What's new? I can't cope. <laughs> I can't cope with seeing stuff like this every three seconds. Thank you for the chilies. Thank you for the chilies. It's so hot. But hey, there is a solution, okay? And in fact, it's a solution that would work across multiple problems in your life, which is don't get on TikTok. <laughs> it's hard not to, though. It's hard not to. Well, that's it for me today, kids. Gotta go make some flat iron popcorn. Thank you for hanging out with me today. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down below about what you think about this trend. Let me know what other trends we should talk about. And feel free to hang out with me on my other social accounts where we do other fun forms of content. And I promise there will be none of, you know, this. I love you, my friends. TTYL. Pinky Doll allegedly now earns about $4,000 per live stream. Go girl. Yes, popcorn. It's, it's kind of interesting that actual NPCs in video games can't be controlled by players. Like you can't play with the NPCs. That's why they're called non-player characters. And yet on TikTok, these girls have risen to fame by being controlled. NPC stands for non-playable character, is the video game equivalent of a background or bit part actor in a movie. NPC didn't always have a good connotation. However, despite being a seemingly benign three-letter acronym, it was hijacked by the basement-dwelling Brandons. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> that inhabited the fever swamps of 4chan a pro Trump right. slur for woke lol cow liberals and got so bad Twitter Banning. starting anyone impersonating these NPCs either via or who's this or anyone image. who's included NPC in their username. Huh? I am, oh, I need to get up with the times. I don't know what half of that means. Why do they all do this with their hands? Is this from right now? Yes. Anybody need a cow? <laughs>